So I want to pick this back up with you, Lily. Um, you were saying about, we were talking about the other, I was really like Sam Bankman Fried, whether he was, it sounds like he was being corrupt. I don't know. And people working within him, maybe the whole organization was corrupt. I don't know. But the thing you brought up is companies need to do their due diligence, like BlockFi and other exchanges that were having assets under management with FTX. That, that seems like that was on them for just jumping in. And I'm reminded of the dot-com boom 20 years ago when all this money came flowing in and everyone was like, oh, this new website's going to blow up. And people were just throwing money at stuff. And some people were getting rich quick and some people, then con artists show up and then people just like they're running into a casino with their a fistful of money, hoping to make themselves rich. So explain as somebody, and, and you can give us a quick background on your, on your background in finance, what the due diligence should look like in general and what maybe some of these, these, these companies should have done. I mean, it's what, it, what, it's what happens in every single traditional banking system. Due diligence always happens when people are going to do some sort of M&A or they're going to purchase a company or going to do business with a company. You want to make sure the structure of that company is legitimate. You need to look into their books, look into their operations, look into the people that are within the business. You know, you would interview CEOs, um, you would interview a whole range of people within the business. You understand their operations what they're doing, do they fit in with the rules that are in place, which is that's the hard bit within crypto is actually deciding what rules are we checking for, what legislations should be in place theoretically that we need to implement. Um, but it really is just doing a deep dive into that company and making sure that you feel comfortable doing business with that company. So someone like FTX, how, you know, no one within the industry has flagged this sooner or said you know, there's there's issues, there's things that you guys need to change, what feedback was given, all these questions. Or maybe there has been and, you know, it hasn't come to light and it's been swept under the carpet. That's the other option is mm -hmm. maybe they haven't received this feedback in the past and they've just been avoiding it, avoiding it. And now it comes to light that they need to they needed to take action sooner. So um, due diligence is super important within any industry. And yeah, I mean, as I say, it's existed in finance for many, many years and it's just the done thing with any, within any business. So maybe we really needed to implement this a lot more within the crypto world um, and start bringing on board more due diligence. Yeah, because thirty-two billion dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money, and and seeing Bitcoin, you know, uh, get crushed like this. But hey, everybody, thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreoncom slash Elwood or rockfincom slash Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.